How are we doing there boys and girls? Matthias here and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to cover the new legendary crafting material that is landing in patch 9.1 called the, what do you call it, the Progenian Fragment. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce that. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments down below. But either way, this is a new legendary crafting material that is coming in patch 9.1. If you're watching this video you probably fall into one of two categories you've either found one you don't really know where you got it from and you just want to know more about it or you know exactly what these are and you're just trying to gather as much information on uh, about them as you can either category we're going to cover everything that we know as it stands on these progenian fragments what they're used for uh, how many of them we need uh, where do we get them from and from a goblin point of view are they valuable uh, TLDR yes very valuable uh, but we'll get on to exactly why in a minute but let's talk about what this item is and why do we need it first well this is an item that is going to be used by crafters namely leather workers tailors blacksmiths and jewel crafters any of the professions that are crafting the legendaries yes this is it kind of makes sense right it's a legendary crafting item it's going into the crafting of legendaries in some way shape or form but it's not totally apparent exactly how yet um, or not at face value. We do actually know some of the answers. Let's take a quick look uh, at what this is used for. This is this is a uh, crafting reagent that goes into an item called the Vestige of Origins. Some of you may have heard about this by now. Some of you may have seen this. Certainly if you're a follower or subscriber on this channel, you're probably up to date with what these Vestige of Origins are by now. These are the crafting reagents or the optional crafting reagents that you can place uh, in when creating a base legendary item to increase its item level to bring it to a a season 2 a Shadowlands 9.1 quality level um, The quantity of these we're going to need is still a little bit undetermined uh, but it is it, it is needed by leather workers in Leather workers, tailors, blacksmiths, and jewel crafters, as I've mentioned before. But the actual uh, pattern to make them is slightly different. This is kind of very similar to uh, the crafter's marks. The crafter's marks, if you uh, craft one on a jewel crafter, it takes different items than if you craft it on a tailor. It's exactly the same. But this, this material, this progenian fragment, if you come across one of these, is primarily, and at the moment, only used for creating these vestige of origins which will later be used by your profession guys uh, to make their base legendary items so firstly let's cover the cover the topic of well how do you uh, how the hell do you get these where do they come from uh, at the moment there's only one answer to this all we found so far is the fact that they come from da -da -da, they come from the world quests in Corthia. Whether you call them world quests, daily quests, whatever you want to call them. The new zone in the more Corthia is going to give you a bunch of quests on a, on a daily basis. And there seems at the moment to be a random chance for the reward to be one of these progenian fragments. This does mean that if this ends up being the only way that we can get these, that these are going to be remarkably rare. Um, I actually did a complete sweep of all of the dailies on my main character yesterday. I transferred him over to the PTR to do some testing. Uh, we ran around, we cleared every quest we possibly could, and I didn't even get a single daily quest out of maybe what felt like 10 or 12 daily quests uh, that gave me one of these it wasn't until I took my second character through there that I got one daily quest that rewarded me with one of these I completed it I got it and so now I can actually uh, answer some of the questions for you to see the item in my bags please ignore the rest of the trash in my bags the item here is uh, to, well let's answer one of the first questions that everybody asks when they look at this material is it bind on pickup is it bind on pickup? Am I going to have to farm uh, to craft my legendaries? Uh, luckily, no. And this is the exact reason we're in the auction house right now. Uh, just, so, just so I can show you that you can take these to the auction house. You can list them. I'm going to put it at a stupidly high price because I don't want somebody to accidentally snag it. But as you can see, they can be bought, sold, whatever on the auction house. No problems there. I'm going to cancel that off quickly because I might need these in the future. Uh, but yes, we can we, 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 we can trade them to other characters, uh, whatever you would expect with a, a normal crafting reagent. So luckily, luckily, we can sell them. That's a big thing, right? That's a big thing. Uh, let's talk about for a minute 
Now that we kind of know what they're used for and where we're going to get them from, let's do a little bit of talking about, well, how rare are they going to be and what would we expect to see these being listed for? Um, at the moment, it is nothing more than a guess because, of course, we are in the PTR and it is early days. But I do feel that these things are going to be outrageously valuable um, to the point where you'll probably find people going to Corthia on their alts to do the daily quests just in the chance of the, them getting one of these because I would not be surprised if these end up selling for tens of thousands of gold in the early days of patch 9.1. Um, working out, spending a bit of time on the PTR, working out how you can get as many of these as quickly as possible uh, could make you a very, very wealthy goblin at the beginning of patch 9.1 when it goes live. Because uh, like I said, I did an entire sweep of daily quests on two characters and only got one. Um, let's let's take a look back to the early days prices of heavy callus hide where farmers could still get 10 15 of them for every hour uh, and they were still going for like 2,000 gold a piece relatively comfortably if a single character is going to be limited to getting like maybe one of these a day these are gonna be expensive and it's gonna make season 2 legendaries very expensive as well um, but the big news and the good news for anybody is that these are not bind on pickup. We are not going to be restricted to farming on our crafters uh, to go out and get these. You can freely buy them off the auction house. Well, there we go, boys and girls. I'll leave it there. I hope that sort of clears up a bit of the shroud of mystery around these items at the moment. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you foresee these selling for. Have you had any luck getting any of these yourselves? Or have you found an other way to get them as... All reports at the moment leads to them only coming from the daily quests. I'd be really interested to hear from you if you found them from any other source. Um, but there we go, boys and girls. I'm going to leave it there. If you enjoy this kind of content, please remember to give the video a like. It really does help my channel grow. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.